very good evening to one and all this uh, chapter is human evolution as we all know we are going through human evolution so we have seen about lamarck's theory we have seen about uh, darwin's theory and we have learned the basic concept of evolution till now but today we will see what is exactly the human evolution means how the human evolved means how from the so called ape like organism organism i repeat ape like organism not apes ape like organism from how the so called ape like organism we evolved as a well civilized human beings how it happened so the human evolution when it started no the evolution of human beings went as such that uh, it was a uh, uh, we can say a kind of scientific miracle because there were lot of ape like organism and not all the apes or ape like organism basically not apes but only ape like organism well on those days the ape like organisms once survived in the natural habitat only few of them took part in the evolution and those few of them has now become a well civilized human beings so first of all today we will see about who was our first and the foremost ancestor so the human evolution was distributed into two parts these two parts are one first of all the prehistoric prehistoric human beings or orthodox human beings and next one the modern man now today we will learn about prehistoric human beings or prehistoric human beings or else we will today we will see about the prehistoric organisms how they evolved and also we will see about what were what are their names and how they were looking like human beings and how the process continues today we will we shall see it and now <clears throat> when it has come to human evolution the first one the first thing was the scientist through tracking dna tracking through carbon dating through different kinds of methodology they found that human really has evolved from the ape like organisms some scientists also believe on the fact that those were not apes like organism but they were apes they were saying that we cannot tell them ape like organism actually they were apes so that's the reason why there were lot of Uh, arguments over this kind of things but at the same time we are having a well and good verdict that we are evolved from apes as well as from ape like organism somewhere in between we evolved means it is not at all confusing means some human beings evolved through apes and some human beings evolved from ape like organisms now the first one is the ramapithecus the ramapithecus in many books you will find the ramapithecus ramapithecus names is not written because people some people believe that our ancestors was australopithecus only but no our previous ancestor we have to admit this fact our foremost and the first ancestor was ramapithecus because from ramapithecus only the australopithecus came the first one is the ramapithecus so ramapithecus lived 12.2 million years old they were 12.2 million years old and we were not having a well known good studies about ramapithecus why because it was very old now people before 1930s they used to believe that ramapithecus was not even existing but after 1930 when we first found the fossil fossil of the lower jaw of the ramapithecus and then we started segregate the fossil we found that if at all we will find all the teeth and we will arrange all the teeth in the lower jaw of that fossil of ramapithecus then it will look like a human being not complete human being means a structure of human face will be there a structure of human face will be there so we cannot deny of the fact that ramapithecus was not our ancestor ramapithecus was our foremost and the oldest ancestor lived once in those days now these ramapithecus they were just wandering around here and there and they were not having any skills means they were just finding food and eating means they were not having how they will hunt how they will eat the meat raw meat or raw leaves they were not having all those they were purely herbivores they were purely herbivores now what happens these ramapithecus were herbivores and the fossils were 
allowed to let these things clear how because the ramapitakas and all they were not having a well defined canines they were only having teeth which was used to eat only the her- herbs and the sherbs means they were completely herbivores so ramapitakas lived 12.2 million years ago now slowly evolved to become australopithecus these australopithecus are 150 cm tall a considerable height 600 cm cube was their cranial capacity means not very much big head small head and a small brain no chin means chin was absent like we humans are having chin no over here this is our chin so <clears throat> the rama the ramapithecus or the australopithecus they were not having chin means we can say the prehistoric human beings or the prehistoric so called ape like human beings or ape like organisms like ramapithecus australopithecus homo habilis homo erectus they are all considered as prehistoric human beings not modern man they were all not having any chin there were no proof of chin now this australopithecus is having no chin but their eyebrow ridge was above the eye means what is eyebrow ridge this part this part what i am touching now now this part is the eyebrow ridge means the part of the eye which is separating the eye and the forehead now eye and the forehead is separated by this socket this bony socket this is the eyebrow ridge means any kind of dust particle or any kind of drop of sweat if at all it is trying to interfere our eye it can't because of this eyebrow ridges so here the eyebrow ridges of the australopithecus were above the eye and they lived around 3.9 to 2.9 million year ago so they were 3.9 to 2.9 million year old the first fossil found for australopithecus was named as lucy l u c y lucy these australopithecus were slowly evolved from ramapithecus and they learned to hunt just to hunt they learned to hunt and they started to make some weapons also small small made up of stones and pebbles but not very deadly weapons not very strong weapons just to defend themselves they just learned to defend themselves and mostly they were omnivores means ramapithecus was just herbivores now the australopithecus came they were omnivores so omnivores means they are eating everything they are killing the animals and eating they are eating the herbs and the shrubs also as well as they are carnivores as well as omnivores means herbivores they were carnivores as well as they are herbivores so they are omnivores they are eating everything they are eating the herbs and shrubs also and they are eating the flesh of the other animals also and their canines the long teeth used to tear the meat were very much long means now the first evidence of evolution we have received from australopithecus to ramapithecus what happened the canines grown the canines came up the canine canines also grown in size and they were well built to tear the meat of the other animals also so here comes the first proof that yes the australopithecus has came from ramapithecus because ramapithecus was herbivores now they started to make tools and started killing the animals also so this is how the first story of evolution started now now next is the australopithecus has now evolved to homo habilis this homo habilis is known as tool maker why tool maker because these homo habilis has now learned to make strong tools made up of stones and they were very good at hunting not only they are using the tools to hunt animals but also they are using the stones for cutting means now the brain has developed and here is one more proof they were making tools the cranial capacity means the capacity of the brain the brain box the brain box on our head the outer skull is known as the cranium and cranial capacity means inside how much amount of or how much weight of brain is there what is the weight of the brain what is the amount of the brain what is the size of the brain the cranium or the brain box can accommodate that is known as cranial capacity means how much is the capacity of the box present inside that can hold up the brain how much capacity of the box that is inside that can hold up the brain so here 680 cm cube of cranial capacity means the cranial capacity is having 680 cm cube which is much more than the australopithecus 
so they have evolved their size of brain has evolved so their smartness also evolved much more than the australopithecus so now what they did they started to make strong tools and they started to hunt animals not only for hunting they are making tools but also for cutting which shows that these organisms homo habilis which has lived many years back is now very much smarter than the australopithecus so lightly built lower jaw means this jaw lower jaw where i am touching this jaw this part not the upper one the lower jaw the lower jaw is lightly built not very much heavy like the australopithecus and ramapithecus it is not heavy it is lighter then dentition like modern man means the arrangement of teeth the arrangement of teeth inside the mouth is just like a modern man modern human being like us the arrangement was more or less like a modern man arrangement of the teeth was more or less like a modern man like us 1.6 to 1.8 million years old means they were lived 1.6 to 1.8 million year back and moreover these all prehistoric human beings they were not walking completely in an erect position means they were bo- their body were not completely straight their body were little bit curved at the hip region at the hip region the body was little bit of curved why the body was curved because their lumbar vertebrae lumbar vertebrae means the vertebrae which is at the end of the hip bone at actually the hip at the end it is coccyx vertebrae but uh, lumbar sacral and then the coccyx means first lumbar then sacral then coccyx because uh, <coughs> at the end the coccyx bone is present but before coccyx sacral and then the at the top lumbar lumbar so we cannot deny of the fact that lumbar is the third lowest it is the third lowest so what happen what happens when the lumbar vertebrae is curved then automatically after lumbar sacral is there sacral will be also become curved after sacral coccyx is there coccyx coccyx will also become curved so that's the reason why since their lumbar vertebrae was very much curved so what happens their body also becomes very much not erect very much bent quite bent means we can see and we can understand that yes since the lumbar vertebrae is very much curved one that's the reason why the body is quite bent towards the forward region it is not at all straight it is quite bent so since the human beings is very much straight nowadays because of evolution but the australopithecus ramapithecus homo habilis they were quite bent bent in the forward direction because of the curve in the lumbar vertebrae now next one is the homo erectus the homo erectus is 150 cm tall 900 cm cube of their cranial capacity now see mind it from 680 the cranial capacity has now become 900 then receding forehead no chin as i have said earlier that almost all the prehistoric human beings they were not having any chin so first what happened they were 150 cm tall then 900 cm cube of their cranial capacity means the size of the brain from homo habilis to homo erectus has now evolved to a drastic size it has improved itself in a in a drastic way in a drastic there is a drastic change from homo habilis to homo erectus in their brain size from the name itself we can hear in further meaning erectus means their lumbar vertebrae has now become straight very much straight means homo erectus become more straighter than ramapithecus australopithecus and homo habilis they become more straight why because their lumbar vertebrae become very much straight and that's the reason why the homo erectus become much straighter than ramapithecus australopithecus and homo habilis then receding forehead what is receding forehead receding forehead means the forehead is not lowered rather it is going back means like us we are having a receding forehead that's the reason why we are having the hairs over here on the head we are not having the hair on the forehead receding forehead means forehead is not limited till here it is moving back it is moving back receding means moving behind moving behind it is not limited till here it is moving back receding forehead means people can differentiate that yes till this part it is the forehead and from here it is the head 
but previous organisms they were not having receding forehead their forehead was still here only and in on the head also they were having hairs and on the forehead also they were having hairs that is the reason why there was no differentiation between forehead and the head but in this organism what happened things changed what happened here the homo erectus is having receding forehead means the forehead which is going towards the back after going towards the back it is becoming head but at the front it is becoming forehead only uh, moving back it is becoming head in the front itself it is the forehead so what happens in the forehead no hair on the head only hair is there but in the other organisms what happened things are changed what happens their forehead is also having hair and the head is also having hair so there is no proper differentiation between the head and the forehead here comes the difference so receding forehead means the first step towards human evolution of course how the human evolved now this homo erectus has having look 60% of human beings i repeat 60% of human beings and 40% of the ape like organisms because having receding forehead but again no chin chin was absent we are having chin they were having no chin then prominent eyebrow ridges prominent eyebrow ridges prominent eyebrow ridges means the eyebrow ridge this part was fixed means first these organisms australopithecus homo habilis ramapithecus they were not having a prominent eyebrow ridges because their eyebrow ridges was here at the top but it is not separating the forehead and the eyes because they were not having receding forehead they were not having receding forehead which is not separating the forehead and the eye but homo erectus do possess receding forehead which is separating the forehead and the head at the same time they are having a prominent eyebrow ridges means the eyebrow ridges is now very much visible those organisms they were having eyebrow ridges but not prominent it was not called prominent prominent means it was not well understood from far if at all you will see the fossil you may not understand also but if at all you will see the fossil of the homo erectus you will understand very nicely that he has just over the socket of the eye the eyebrow ridges were there now used fire and hunt animals the most important part these homo erectus what they did till homo habilis was known as tool maker because they were making tool out of stones australopithecus they made tool out of stones and pebbles but not that much strong but homo erectus what they did they made tool not only of stones they made tool out of animal bones also which made them very much clear that they were having a well developed brain than their other ancestors and now they can hunt animals very easily they were omnivores they they were eating the herbs and the they were they were herbivores as well as carnivores means they were eating flesh also and they were eating the herbs and the herbs also now what happens they are having a use they use the fire which very much clear which is very much clear or which makes the things very much clear that using fire is not a matter of joke in those days now we are just taking the match box we are lighting it up or we are taking a lighter we are lighting it up but those days rubbing the stone and introducing fire into a new life means that is a part of that is the big step towards evolution since their brain has developed a lot from 680 cm cube it has become 900 that is the reason why they were capable they just striking stones together and finally they found fire which makes the life of the human beings more easier so this is this was all about the prehistoric human beings ramapithecus australopithecus homo habilis and homo erectus i hope you will see this video go through the video properly and if you are having any doubt you can ask thanks a lot